Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy Sunday. Sunday, November 28th, 2022. I'm not on my way to an emergency service call, but we are heading to a, um, a commercial property. It's actually, I believe, a tavern or a restaurant, maybe a diner uh, in Malvern, New York, on Long Island in Nassau County. Referral from one of the WhatsApp Mikey Pipes group chat members. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So it's not an emergency, but I got such a busy caseload tomorrow. If we could get them done today it's 8 25 in the morning let's go see what's going on make sure you smash that thumbs up button and remember sharing is caring we're right around the corner from 50,000 subscribers and i'm gonna try not to disappoint you for the most epic pool party on youtube let's get going gotta love malvern nice little village just snug and tucked in between west hempstead lynbrook valley stream and a little bit of Franklin Square over there. It's really nice over here. By the way, this is a great little restaurant right here in the corner right here. I forgot the name of it. Right there. It's a nice little restaurant. Uh, some Italian little joint, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go over to train tracks and head over to this, uh, yeah. That's the place. Next to the Malvern Deli. All right, let's see if we can find our destination. It's right around the corner. Watch out for the train tracks. Choo choo. All right, before I get started, Mikey Pipe stickers are available, especially Seasons Greetings with St. Mike. Email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Details in the description box down below. Stickers are free, but we do appreciate donations to the postage fund. Let's go take care of this A.O. Smith cyclone at this restaurant. <laughs> go looks like someone's been in here before okay let's see what we got here okay pxt btx 100 it's gonna pre-purge cycle oh, a few years old huh See what happens with this. Let's take a look at the manufacturer date, 2016. What's going on? How are you? How are you, Jerry? How you doing? Jerry, Mike. I'm Mike. How are you? How you doing, Mike? I'm good. What are you getting? Ignition failure? Yeah. Let's see what it does. It's a few years old. This model, huh? Five years. Yep. This should be good for longer than that, shouldn't it? Eh, yes and no. They're like eight grand. They are expensive. They're more than that now. The guy said he put a new one in for 8000 When was this? Five Recent years ago? No, recently. Oh, uh, the, the, the sheet itself is $8,000. Plus tax, plus labor, plus parts. Well, I think I think this <laughs> is about forty-three. this particular model. You think so? Uh, okay. Not bad. And all he'd have to do was just... When's the last time out? someone's been in this thing? Uh, I had a guy, Mako, put it... You ever hear Mako plumbing? Yeah. Put it in, so he sent the guy the other day. Okay. And he took the rod. You have to. It's a pain in the ass. I know. Had to take this apart to get in there, and it's it was coming up clean flame rod, which yep. is the igniter. He did that. He tried that, but it didn't work. Oh, I wish I knew this before I came here. <laughs> All right, we got ignition failure. That's confirmed. So. The, this cyclone, I don't know about the others, but this cyclone doesn't have an igniter or hot surface igniter. We have a spark ignition module right here, which goes to this little wire, which then goes into that burner assembly, which is resting on top of here. So let's get the, let's get the tools and see if we got voltage going to the box. All right, I have my Fluke 907, sorry, 902 FC, clamp on true RMS multimeter, on the two lines that go into the spark box, the tank ignition module, the Honeywell. And let's do a power cycle and let's see what happens. Okay. A 
to restore power. Let's see what happens. See what kind of voltage we get to this module. Okay. First thing that comes on is my inducer assembly. Okay. That's on. We're going to pre purge status right now. Be a little patient. Two hundred volts, one hundred twenty volts to the spark box. Gas valve is on. We're not going to have flame sensing, and it's going to go to interpurge and then restart. All right. While I'm unscrewing the burner assembly. From the unsecuring from the top of the water heater, a good technician is observant of his surroundings. And let me tell you something: the last guy who took this apart had absolutely no idea what the hell he was doing. What's up with that, bro? Why are you putting pipe dope on the face of the union? What the hell is wrong with you? Who taught you how to plumb? Are you stupid or something? What the hell? Come on, man. All right. Hey, you guys said you're just cleaning these igniters, huh? the hell are you talking about mo this is not clean what the hell who just cleaned this what's up with that are you serious wow wow that's a whole nother world of you know just highway robbery damn wow and i'm gonna call you out bro homeowner said well, homeowner property owner saying that Mako, Mako plumbing and heating, just clean those rods. Just clean them when? Two year, 20 years ago? Come on, bro. Calling you out. Mako, stand up for yourself. Defend yourself. Did you just clean those or did you didn't? Hello. Hey, quick question, Mike from the Pipe Doctor. Yeah, Mike. Um, you said that another company was was just here and they cleaned the flame rods, right? That's what he said. Now, whether he couldn't get that out, I don't know. I wasn't watching him. Oh, but did he say he cleaned them? He said he cleaned them. But this Which company was this? Blue. Mako. Wow. And the one in, Val in uh, over there on America Road in Lindbrook, Valley Stream. Uh, yeah, the Mako, like the shark. Yeah, yeah. They put that in, that unit in. The guy Richie owns the company. Yeah. I'm going to send you a picture of the flame rods. Okay. All right? Because if they were clean, the last time they were clean was about 20 years ago. Oh, okay. So that kid probably couldn't get to them. Well, no. If you, if you say if you, say you did something, don't lie about it. If you say you can't get to something, you don't know what you're doing, at least admit it, you know, and then learn. Hey, you know what he charged me? He charged me 460 and he left without it working. Wow. All right. Well, let me uh, let me let me clean them, and hopefully that solves the problem here for you. Sounds good. All right. All thank right. you. Thanks, Mike. My pleasure. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Lesson learned here is if you don't know how to do something, learn, because the more you know, the more valuable you become. But don't lie, because that's just wrong. That's wrong, and the thing called karma. No bueno. Okay. Now, those are clean flame rods. And if you're gonna give the guy some defense, it's like, oh, maybe clean the other one. No, now that's clean too. So, I don't know what the hell this guy was doing, but um, if the boss is hearing this, hopefully you teach your employees some, some skills on what needs to be done when you're on a service call. All right, let's take a look at this Cyclone. We are up and running, ladies and gentlemen. We are up and running. Our set temperature is 162 degrees. We already went up 11 degrees since it's been running for roughly about, I want to say about 15 minutes. Um, we are going to recommend full cleaning, uh, gasket replacement, because that gasket, I just got it to line up perfectly. It needs to be replaced. We can't let that stay in there the way in the condition that it's in. Also, we are in a shed, as you can see here, but it'll probably be a great idea 
to possibly extend this two inch. Yep, right there. So maybe outside, wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, my three inch goes up and outside, snorkel, so we're good with that. Um, but we are up and running. We're 85 degrees, perfect. Very, very nice. And now they're gonna call us in the future. All right, a little before 10 o'clock in the morning. Spent a little over an hour there. Um, but it's all good, got the customer up and running. Made him aware of the lack of maintenance that it really needs. I like to replace the anode rods, which we never really do, but it's a very expensive water heater. And I think that if we do a cleaning, uh, replacing a few gaskets, cleaning the burner assembly, uh, it'll build some value and it'll also solidify the relationship, the new relationship that we just obtained with this client. Um, before I close out this video, I just wanna show you a major difference between the video from Friday, which was the House Call Pro invoicing app, and today, ServicePal, that I'm using for over 10 years. Reliable, dependable, and easy to use. So let's take a look at the invoice. There you go, the AO uh, Smith Cyclone ignition failure. I got my diagnosis there, all my notes. Model and seal number right there on page one. It's a very, very, very simple form. Got all of our information on top. Customer's information is right there. My logo, address, license information, all that good stuff. My line item breakdown, it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Start typing what the line item is. It populates, puts the price in there, and we're good to go. What's really nice, page two of the receipt, right? There's my pictures. There's my water heater. There's my rating plate. And there is proof that the system is up and running. It's a really, 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 really very nice app. And what's even better is that I could just click one little button, send an email, and let's say I want to obtain a review, like on Google, for example. All I have to do is mark the job completed, and it automatically sends an SMS text message to the to the customer, or the homeowner, business, whatever it is, asking them, hey, here's my Google uh, review link page. Click on this to give us a review. It also, when I'm on my way, uh, it lets the customer know, hey, a picture of my face pops up, Mikey Pipes, and lets some customer know, hey, uh, Mikey Pipes is on the way, and uh, call this number if you need to cancel. And if they call the number, it, it goes directly to the technician's cell phone. That way, if you're in route, you know, um, it sucks, but sometimes it does happen. You know, customer has an emergency, pops up, or they forgot, or something like that. It's all good. But I'm really, really loving ServicePal. I've been using them for over 10 years. Um, check them out, servicepal.com. It's only available for the iPad. That's the only drawback. And it doesn't have all the nice, sexy bells and whistles like House Call Pro does, but it's very, very simple. Link in the description box down below. When you speak to the president of ServicePal, John, tell him Mikey Pipe sent you, and he'll send me a little cut my way. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in on this Sunday morning. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe this is the first time viewing this channel. Maybe you've been here a few times. Maybe you didn't even realize you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to get post notifications when I post, which is generally on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.